Okay, the next part of the assignment is to uh, compare the energy use of the base case with different heating and cooling systems. The existing heating and cooling systems, hypothetical one that's 100% efficient both for heating and cooling, a heat pump that has a COP of 2 for heating and a COP of 3 for cooling, a heat pump with heat recovery that has a COP of 5 and 6, and then radiant heating and cooling with a whole house fan with um, a even higher COP. So I'm going to walk you through those. They're quite um, quick and easy to do. Now I should, sh I should uh, point out or, or remind you, I went over this earlier in, in an earlier tutorial on Energy Plus and HVAC systems. The one that we've modeled in Energy Plus is a ideal loads air system. So that means that it is going to supply as much heating or cooling energy as is needed in the zone in order to maintain the thermostat set points and it's going to do so at a hundred percent efficiency. So what we're doing here in the dashboard is accounting for different systems by using an effective coefficient of performance. Now this is a shorthand, a very quick way of estimating system performance and in fact Energy Plus can do quite detailed calculations for different systems. However, um, getting to learning those takes some time and uh, we don't have that much time left in the semester. So this is something that you can investigate on your own time when the semester ends uh, to look at modeling specific systems. And a good resource for that if you're interested is to go to the input output reference and the example files that come with Energy Plus. When you install Energy Plus it automatically uh, makes this folder on your, your hard drive called Energy Plus version 8.5 and you'll see that there's um, example files in here. And these example files are, there's actually tons of these. Most of these demonstrate the use of different types of systems. Um, so you see like there's a, a heat pump system here, uh, air to air with uh, relative humidity control. There's um, different types of heat pumps, there's water to air, there's chillers, there's um, huge amounts of, of different types of, um, of heating and cooling systems. So if you want to dive into this further, these are really good um, uh, resources, the example files, and also that input-output reference that uh, you can find online. The way to start is with your baseline model. So in EP Launch, you want to start with the best baseline that you have so far and then run that. Actually, I already have, so paste the tables into your dashboard as you have before and paste them into the table column here. And under end use, uh, copy those end uses to the input output summary just as you have in uh, previous work. So I copied it there just just like always. Uh, and so now you've got your baseline back and I'm going to actually change this to 40 baseline 3. And, and then I want to do um, a few other um, iterations of system efficiency. And if you go to the model inputs calculator, you'll see down below here that there are a bunch of other resources for uh, kind of cooling systems, heating systems, uh, furnaces, etc. Uh, both a low and a high. And then distribution systems. So the hot air from a furnace is going to uh, be distributed through ducts and be propelled by fans. If you're looking at a radiant system, then you've the distribution is by pipes and it's distributed by um, pumps. Uh, and so there's a, a difference in efficiency between a duct and a pipe and a fan and a pump. And um, it's reflected to uh, some extent by the ener energy efficiency ratio that I've got here. So if you take these ratios and you add them up, you can have uh, the system coefficient of performance the distribution coefficient of performance, and a total coefficient of performance. For these different cases, I'd like you to try them. So we've already got our existing heat and cooling systems. Then I want to try a hypothetical 100% efficient one. So for 100% efficiency, I would go back to my dashboard. I go into space heating and 
change that to one and cooling to one and hot water to one. Now the hot water is not currently linked to anything so I'm not going to let's let's concentrate mainly on heating and cooling for this assignment and then I'm going to go back to end use and you'll see that the system efficiency is changing and so too do your heating and cooling numbers. So I'm going to copy these to my input output summary and down here I'm going to paste them and I'm, I should have labeled this um, let's see 41 100 percent efficient and you can see the the difference um, as I've increased my cooling and decreased my heating and in some respects this probably makes sense to maybe just show the heating and cooling uh, so I'm deleting these other these other end uses so that we have a better sense. I'm going to keep the heating, cooling, and ventilation. Um, so that's the 100% efficient version. That's done. Good. The next one is the heat pump. So COP of 2 and 3. So I'm going to go to system efficiency. The space heating um, heat pump would be 2 and the space cooling would be 3. Um, if you're confused about why that is or how that's possible, do the reading for next time because that um, explains a lot about system efficiency. So now I go back to my end use and you'll see that these numbers have been further reduced. So I'm going to copy that over to my next column and I should probably uh, name this COP2 COP3 for heating and cooling and you can see we've drastically reduced our heating and cooling the next is a heat pump with a heat recovery and we've got a COP of 5 and 6 I'm going to go back to my efficiency here and input 5 and 6 COP 5 and COP 6 and I'm going to copy these numbers now down to here so you see a trend here obviously as the COP increases my um, heating cooling decreases of course the one last one which is radiant heating and cooling with a whole house fan that's a COP of five and a half and six and a half. I'm going to go to my input output summary and change that five and a half and six and a half. And I'm going to call this 44 COP five and a half, six and a half fan. And let's see what numbers we got here. I'm going to copy this over to my input output summary. And there we go.